The 2020 U.S. presidential election still hasn't been called one way or the other as votes are still being counted in several key states. Both candidates addressed the country earlier, delivering very different remarks regarding the election. Our Lee kyung has been following the latest for the past few days for us. Kyung is kyung give us the details. Mark, just a few hours ago, President Trump made his first public appearance since election night. Well, he's been active on Twitter, making allegations about election fraud and attacking the integrity of voting process. But this is the first time he's come out on camera. He once again uh, attacked Democrats, saying that they are trying to steal the election while questioning the legitimacy of mail-in ballots. He said if what he called legal votes are counted, he will win. He also went on to repeat his previous remarks, saying numbers miraculously whittled down as mail-in ballots began being counted. There has been no evidence yet to support any of these allegations. Trump's remarks are also a clear departure from Biden's remarks earlier in the day, in which he, called, uh, he talked about COVID-19, the economy, and insisted that every single vote should be counted. Now, we appear to be approaching the tail end of this now, so let's get a check on the latest tallies. Where exactly does the race stand as of now? Mar, both candidates are still short of the 270 electoral votes needed to claim victory. We're waiting for those key states, Arizona, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania, to finish counting the ballots. But these states are extremely close, and their margins are shrinking even further. As of 11.30 a.m. Korea time, Biden is ahead of Trump in Arizona by a little over one point. Trump is leading in North Carolina and Pennsylvania, also by a slightly over or less than one point in each state. But it's neck and neck in Georgia, the traditional Republican stronghold. In terms of electoral votes, Biden has 253, leading Trump by 40. Based on this dynamic, Biden has a better chance of winning the race. So if Biden holds on in Arizona and wins Nevada, where he's also leading, he doesn't have to uh, win any of the other remaining states to make 270. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Mark.